morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is your host, Data T. Welcome to my channel, The Good Guys. Guys, today's story comes out of Commerce, Georgia, and the title reads, Grandma to Burglar. You come any further and you're a dead SOB. Guys, I can't wait to get into this story but before we do if you don't mind leaving a like leaving a comment subscribe okay remember we are on the road to 1000 subscribers guys we are getting there we are moving we are marching slowly okay and it's great okay and you guys can also hit me on twitter minds and true social okay so eh, further ado let us get into today's story boy oh boy this is a story you first saw on 11 Alive, and hundreds of thousands of people have been watching this across the country. A pistol-packing Jackson uh, County grandmother who took on a burglar, and Aisha, she has a lot to say tonight. Yeah, Ron, so it was back on February 12th when Ms. Gwendolyn Agad shot at a man trying to break into her house. Now, she held the guy off for about 10 minutes until the authorities got there. Now, this woman, as Hope Ford found out tonight, she is a sharp shooter with an even sharper tongue, Hope. She had a lot to say. Oh, yeah, Grandma ain't playing. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Whenever I got to her house, she looked right at me and said, do you really want to know what I said to him? And I said, yes, ma'am. And off she went. Mother if you come in here, you're a dead son of a That's a promise. That's Wendelin. <laughs> okay, this, this, this should be titled, not Grandma. This should be called Big Mama. <laughs> Let's hear the rest of this. I love it. Oh my God. At first, she didn't want to talk on camera about her story. She didn't see the big deal. But when we shared the story on social media, so many viewers said they were proud and that they would do the same thing. So we knew we had to try <laughs> yeah, to talk to her again. I come to the conclusion that you are not going to leave me alone. So why don't I just go ahead and do it? And, and you know, and it probably will help somebody. God says the man grabbed a rubber mallet from a neighbor's shed and broke in. Something hit that door. Bam! The glass shattered. He went inside naked. He didn't have no pants on. She had her 38 and fired a warning shot. But the man went upstairs and started ransacking her home. Since the 38 didn't do the trick, she grabbed her 45 revolver. A god called 911 and started giving them the play by play. And you can hear the fear in her voice. Please hurry. Please hurry. Please, please. Lord, have but she wasn't going to let the burglar know she was scared. When the man tried to come downstairs, a god fired another warning shot. He said, are you trying to kill me? I said, oh, you finally got the message. Deputies would finally. I love it. Guys, this story is fantastic, guys. There's so many things here to unpack, but check this out. Grandma is at home, okay? Grandma is at home, and Big Mama is at home, and she has this joker right here, okay, break into her her home. And he's butt naked. What the, what the fuck, bro? Okay? But anyway... Not only does she have a 38 special, but she's also got a 45. Okay? Big Mama is not playing. And I gotta tell you, this is the reason why you have multiple firearms. We don't know the reason why she switched firearms. Okay? The warning shots, I'm not too wild about those. Okay? Uh, warning shots, I don't. I think they're a big no-no. But, um, whatever you can do to save your life. Okay? At least she had the gun at home. Okay? And um, if you pick up on her language, she says now that she was scared, but she didn't want to let him know that. And man, that is the psychological battle you have to have when you deal with evil. Right? And she had it. She had it down to a T. I have to commend big mama grandma for saying you know what i was scared but i wasn't gonna let him know that kudos you are the inex you are the prime example of a good guy because in the face of evil okay in the face of fear 
she showed bravery. Women can be brave. Grandmas can be brave. Okay? And um, this is fantastic. This is something that should be celebrated. I'm glad that the newsroom decided to show this across in social media. This is something that I for forgot. I missed. Um, a lot of people probably missed this story. And this is something that should be national news. But obviously, we don't want... Obviously, the... Anti-gunners do not want to give a strengthening case to being armed for the Second Amendment. Okay? And we didn't hear anything about how the guns are stored or they're locked away or they're separate from ammunition. No, fuck that. You got a gun, you keep it loaded, and you keep it somewhere where you can grab it easily. Accessible. That is where it is. This is the reason. Okay, and um, man, this is fantastic. Fantastic. Let's hear the rest of the story. We arrive and arrest the man. A god never thought she would have to fire her guns, but she'd do it all over again if needed. I don't know what his t intention was, but I know what mine was. And, you know, she said that her children and her grandchildren also came to her mind during that standoff, and that's why she knew she just had to fight back. The man, meanwhile, he was arrested. He was actually found in the closet hiding because, you know, she was shooting at him. So yeah. he, he went upstairs and, and, you know, hid, but he was charged with, arrested and charged with that break-in. All right, we are so thankful she is okay tonight and oh, knew yeah. exactly what to do. Oh, yeah. All right, Ron. All right. What a fantastic story, right? A fantastic story. And this is the whole reason why you need to be armed, especially in your home. I can understand some cases, some cases of why you don't want to carry outside the house. I understand it. But guys, your home, you should be able to protect your home. There should be no reason for any asshole that you did not invite to come into your home and take your stuff doesn't compute to anyone who works hard who has had a life who deals who loves people individual and she at that moment thought of her children and her grandchildren right and at 79 years old guys 79 years old she's packing she understands the second amendment and what it is there for fantastic I love this. I I cannot um, say how great this story is. Um, this is something that that uh, every grandma, if you are you know able bodied, should be able to have a firearm. And uh, you know this 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 is a fantastic story. Seventy nine years old, and she had two pistols. Okay, two of them. Okay, you guys got one, man, you need to go buy another one. Guys, people like that are good guys, and they should be hailed. They should be talked about. That grandma, big mama, she should have t-shirts, okay? She should have the GoFundMes. All of that should be there, but that is not the case, okay? Rarely when people do good things is it hailed. But uh, we're going to do that here. And we are going to recognize her as a good guy. Because if good men, good women do nothing, there will be no good guys. Oh.